The early childhood group um, studies kids like birth to age eight, and we study children in um, risky contexts, whether that be um, children who are growing up in poverty or children who are growing up with other family risk factors. We study kids who have been exposed to family violence, like domestic violence, um, children who've experienced trauma, children who've been maltreated by a caregiver or some other adult in the community, children who are just generally growing up in poverty, um, who might not have the supports they need in their school. So when we think of risk, it's pretty broad. Some of our really basic research studies that we're doing are looking at kind of the biological consequences of early adversity. So um, one of our projects is looking at children who've experienced maltreatment and um, how that impacts their stress response system, whether that be um, how that alters the production of cortisol in those kids or how that impacts um, their epigenetic processes that are happening. We're also doing more applied research that's focused on evaluating preventative interventions that are happening in the community. We know that adversity is prevalent in the lives of young children. We don't know all of the long-term consequences of early adversity. There's, um, there is a lot of work that's linking kind of adverse childhood experiences to later physical and mental health problems. What's really exciting about the work that we're doing here at the Bradley Research Center is we're really making the bridge between the basic science of early childhood development and developmental psychopathology, children growing up in risky contexts, and applied work with families and intervention work. We're really hoping to um, inform refinement of treatment for young children, inform refinement of these preventative interventions for um, families with young children, so that way we can work towards better long-term outcomes for little kids.